To explain a trade war, we first need to understand what tariffs are. Simply put, a tariff is a tax on imports or exports. More commonly, you're taxing another country's goods coming into yours. So let's focus on the more common one, tariffs on imports. They serve multiple purposes. Since it's a tax, it means the government gets more money from imports up front, at least at first. And tariffs can help domestic companies compete with foreigners or be a bargaining chip to help a country secure better trade deals. President Trump is trying to use them as a negotiating tool in NAFTA talks with Canada and Mexico. And if we terminate NAFTA because they're unable to make a deal that's fair for our workers and fair for our farmers, we love our farmers, and fair for our manufacturers, then we're going to terminate NAFTA and we'll start all over again. So let's say the U.S. slaps a tariff on sneakers made in China. American shoemakers would at least initially benefit. That's because tariffs boost prices on comparatively less expensive foreign goods, making it easier for consumers to buy domestic goods. It could be a double-edged sword. Critics say that move could stifle domestic innovation. The lack of international competition might even eventually raise sneaker prices in the U.S. In other words, tariffs on imports tend to make those goods more expensive for consumers at home. Don't! Plus, what if, say, China responds by levying a tariff on U.S. agricultural goods like cotton, wheat, or soybeans? That could hurt American farmers because they benefit from those exports to China. And you can see where this could head. A tit for tat on trade. America hits back with another tariff, then China responds, then America, then China, and you've got yourself a trade war. There are several examples of protectionist measures failing. Let's open our history books to 1930. The Republican-controlled House of Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the, anyone, anyone, the Great Depression, passed the, anyone, Anyone? A tariff bill? The Hawley Smoot Tariff Act? The tariffs were intended to help U.S. farmers during a glut in the American agricultural market. But the tariffs were expanded to other industries and the move backfired. European countries imposed countermeasures and global trade plummeted. Critics say it made the Great Depression even worse. So, President Trump may argue trade wars are good and easy to win, but history says otherwise. To explain a trade war, we first need to understand what tariffs are. So let's focus on the more common one, tariffs on imports. They serve multiple purposes. Since it's a tax, it means the government... government gets more money from imports up front, at least at first. And tariffs can help domestic companies compete with foreigners or be a bargaining chip. So let's say the U.S. slaps a tariff on sneakers made in China. China. American shoemakers would at least initially benefit. That's because tariffs boost prices on comparatively less expensive foreign. It could be a double-edged sword. The lack of international competition might even eventually... Plus, what if, say, China responds by levying a tariff on U.S. agricultural goods like cotton, wheat, or soybeans? That could hurt American farmers because they benefit from those exports to China.
China. And you can see where this could head. A tit for tat on. The tariffs were intended to help you. During a glut in the American agricultural market. But the tariffs were expanded to other industries and the move backfired. President Trump may argue.